whenever I'm in need and I'm looking for help. God, you're always there for me. Wherever you lead me, I can follow you. God, you're always there for me. Oh, God, you're always there for me. Help me believe you know what's best for me. Feel it in my soul When you are in control I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I do what I should do When you help me choose I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah Lost and I don't know where to turn. God, you're always there for me. Wherever I go, you're always by my side. God, you're always there for me. Oh, God, you're always there for me. So help me believe you know what's best for me. to be more like you because your way is the best way I feel it in my soul when you are in control I got one life to live and I want to live it your way oh yeah I do what I should do when you help me choose I got one life to live and I want to live it your Whoa. way oh yeah I feel it in my soul when you are I got one life to live and I wanna live it your one way Oh yeah, I do what I should do When you help me choose I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah, I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah This universal remote control is so cool. Hi, I'm Izzy and I love remote controls. They make me feel so powerful. I'm in control. But we're here to talk about self-control. Self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. Self-control can really come in handy. It can keep you from making mistakes, and it can keep you from getting in trouble. It can also stop you from doing and saying things to other people that you might not want to say or do. Self-control can really help you. It's my sister, I just gotta, I'll just be one sec. What? You can't call me, I'm doing that. That I'm doing the video thing with the, the self-control. No, I tell you every time. Come on. Sorry, it's my sister. She keeps calling me. Here, somebody fast forward this. Oh wait, I can fast forward this. I tell you every single time. I'm already working hard enough, okay? YouTube's demonetizing everything. I'm talking, I'm trying, I'm trying to be, bring God to the kids. I tell that is my, and my appropriate, always has them. No, don't put mom on the phone. Don't put mom on the phone. I don't want to talk to her. And I, 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 you know, I, I have my fans who, who, who are expecting this from me. About, 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 about what? <sighs> mom, no, okay, no, 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 no. Come back on the mom. You made me help mom. Fix the internet. Sorry about that. Uh, I hope you couldn't hear that. I really gave my sister a uh, piece of my mind. Actually, now that I think about it, 
I'm wondering if I maybe gave her a little too much of a piece of my mind. But you know what they say, like, words can never hurt me, right? Right? I don't feel so powerful anymore. In today's story, we learn about how powerful words can really be. I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. I gotta, I gotta make a phone call. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 18. King Solomon was one of the wisest men who ever lived, and like any parent, he wanted to pass that wisdom down to his children. So he collected many wise sayings that were later written down in the book of Proverbs. My son, listen to your father's advice. Don't turn away from your mother's teaching. What they teach you will be like a beautiful crown on your head. Solomon's children were royalty, but Solomon was more concerned with the choices they would make than whatever royal robe or crown they would wear. My son, accept my words. Store up my commands inside you. Let your ears listen to wisdom. Apply your heart to understanding. There are hundreds of wise sayings in Proverbs, and a lot of them mention the same thing over and over and over. Your words. Yep. You remember that old saying? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Meh. Not true. What comes out of your mouth is strong and powerful. Words can end a friendship. It can make people believe a lie. It can make people lose their trust in you. Here's what King Solomon had to say about it. The words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. This is my double sword, commonly known as, yeah, scissors. Now you might think that one tiny little comment might not really hurt anyone. That was a dumb thing to do. Can't you get anything right? Sorry, you can't sit here. Did you even look in the mirror? Cry, baby. No big deal, right? I mean, it's not like any of these little cuts did any real damage. But deep down inside, none of us are just one layer. We're way more complicated than a single sheet of paper. Our stories have a bunch of different layers. So when you say, just get over it, your words might cut way deeper than you ever imagined. Ouch. But there is a way to keep your words from slicing deep like this. Think before you speak. Take a few seconds, use your imagination. Maybe you feel like saying, You're a loser, so you'll never hear me say you're good enough. Stop. Ask yourself, How would I feel if someone said this to me? Would it hurt? If the answer is yes, keep your mouth shut. Or better yet, change those words. You're good enough, so you'll never hear me say you're a loser. Your words can encourage and comfort. They can speak truth and bring wisdom. Hey, can I help? I'm really sorry you're having a rough day. I want you on my team. I love the way you always pick bright colors. You're really brave. Your words are so strong, they can make someone's day and help heal some pretty deep cuts. In fact, your words are one of the very best ways to fulfill the mission Jesus gave us. Love one another, just as I have loved you. If you love one another, everyone will know you are my disciples. Your words are your superpower. So, before you let a single word out of that mouth today, ask yourself. Is it gonna hurt or is it gonna help? Like Solomon reminds us, the words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Hey, um, I'm sorry I said what I said. I just, I'm sorry. I, I lost my temper and my cool 
And I said some things that I shouldn't have said, and I'm really sorry. I love you. Thanks. It really feels good when you're in control of your words. King Solomon had a way with words. So he really knew what he was talking about when he said this. The words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people bring healing. If you don't think before you speak, you can really hurt somebody with your words. I bet you've been hurt by somebody else when they said something mean. On the other hand, if you do think before you speak, you can use your words to lift up and encourage people, which can really help them. Maybe you've been helped by somebody else's words. But instead of fast forwarding, our words should be moving Jesus had a half-brother named James, and he wrote this. Everyone should be quick to listen, but they should be slow to speak. They should be slow to get angry. So, next time you're about to say something that could hurt somebody else, slow down and think how your words might affect other people. Think, are your words going to cut like a sword or are they going to be healing? And if you can't think of any healing words to say, maybe you should press the mute button. <sighs> Sorry. The one thing to remember today is this. Think before you speak. Your words are pretty powerful and you get to choose how you want to use them. This thing is pretty powerful too. Huh, SAP, I wonder what that does. Nada parece. Ah bueno, hasta luego. Adiós.